Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a basketball. So grab your pencils and let's get drawing. So first things first, I just wanna let you know that this is gonna be um, an informative sketch. So I'm gonna give you some facts about the bas like basketball in general and just kinda of what's involved with the game. And uh, we'll also draw. So I'm gonna start with a, a circle and I'm actually gonna freehand this circle because I just feel like doing that. So in order to freehand it, you just kinda of, kind of slowly um, with little with little parts of the circle coming together, you can kind of put it together. So um, what you might want to do is just slowly kind of put it together like this. And then as you kind of see it coming together, you know, properly, like a proper circle, you can go darker. So from there, you just go darker. Um, I don't really have a protractor hanging around here. And... Um, in the past, I've used like a coffee cup lid to get a nice circle for like a baseball drawing, but I think in this drawing, I'm just gonna kind of, um, you know, just use my eye and just kind of put something together. Plus, I mean, it's just about the process about drawing as well. Give you some facts and kind of show you some stuff. So, um, you know, I don't want it to look like an egg, but I certainly am not gonna get too worked up if it's not like, a, you know, a perfect, perfect circle, right? So, yeah, basically, getting this drawing, the circle kind of started is the first step to your drawing, so. Um, yeah, just looking at that, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, basketball itself was invented by someone named James Naismith um, in, I think it was in Massachusetts, so Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, but I don't know if you know this, but um, he was actually born in Canada. So born in Canada, and uh, I think the name of the, the town he was born in was called Alamonte, Ontario, Canada. So he was born in Canada. A lot of people don't know that um, or kind of think of basketball as an American sport, which certainly is very, you know, like an American-like sport, but uh, invented by someone who was born in Canada. I guess he lived or he, he actually coached uh, basketball down in, in the United States. So I believe that's, um, that's where it kind of came from. So yeah, just that Canadian connection, right? I'm in Canada, if you guys didn't know that. So uh little little Canadian connection there. So once in a while I'll do a drawing where there's a connection to, you know, Canada or or the city I'm in in Canada, etc. So anyway, back to the drawing. Um so one thing you need to be aware of it in order to make this, you know, a true 3D like basketball, you need to think about your lines. The first line is going to start under here and come around, and you're basically going to go like this, and you are going to follow that and you're going to keep it going and you're going to just go up over here and it kind of goes even farther back actually so you have to kind of think of it like um, perspective right so you're going to go away 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 kind of like that so if you're not sure just use little strokes on the page and go back, back, back like that. Now the good thing about you know doing this method is this black line is actually gonna be thick because on a basketball you have this kind of um, thick line like that. So it's actually okay if your line is a bit thick because that's how we wanna do it. So um, by the way, so when I said James Naismith invented basketball, it was in the year of 1891. So well before the year 1900 or the 1900s, um, 20th century, so 1891. And I think it was called hoops because um, the first like net was a, like a peach basket. So I don't know if you've ever seen one of those his historical videos or history videos where the first um, hoop was actually a peach basket and they just poked a hole out of the bottom and uh, they popped the ball out because they, they had a hole in the bottom of the peach basket and I believe that's how they call it hoops. So anyway, I'm just doing the first black line over here. You know what I'll do? I'll speed this part up and I'll do the rest of the black lines. When I get back, I'll give you some more facts and I'll show you how to kind of fix up this uh, and complete this drawing, if you will. So hang with me, I'll be right back.
Okay, so we're back. Basically just did the foundation of these lines. This is basically where we're starting with, um, with the lines. And you certainly want to make sure that you, you know, you're happy with your line placement. This one should be a little bit lower. I'm just cleaning this up. So I really just started to put the lines on. It doesn't mean that this is permanent. You can always make changes to where your lines are. But always think of your lines going in this kind of curvature-like way. Um, kind of interesting to think about that. I'm using a, a 5B just as a middle ground pencil, but we're gonna use a darker pencil like a 7 or an 8B to darken those up. Um, and as we do that, I'll tell you that basketball became a first Olympic sport in the Summer Games Berlin, Germany, 1936. So 1936 was when it became an Olympic game. And, um, and basically there was two leagues back in, you know, a long time ago called the um, National Basketball League, which was the NBL, and the Basketball Association of America, which was BAA. They basically merged in 1948-49, and they became the National Basketball Association. And, you know, to this day, the NBA is a very strong, strong uh, league and well-known, and that's basically how, you know, the NBA came to be. Um, what I want to do is, is let you know that, uh, um, how do I say this? There's a darker kind of way that we want to get these lines pronounced, but you don't want to darken up the lines until you're happy with your shape. Once you're happy with your shape, grab something like a 7B, a very fine point, and start to basically refine this. If you can do that, you'll, you'll see that your drawing will look a lot more realistic. So I purposely waited to this point to get this part done, and it is a bit tedious. Uh, I'm not sure if you're drawing along with me or not, but if you are, great. Um, I'd love to know if you're drawing along but uh, this is something that has to be done and you wanna try your best to get this line as crisp as possible. So, you know, when I say crisp as possible, just try to follow the original kind of area that you did and just get it nice and dark as well. A little trick that I like to do when drawing a basketball is, um, and the reason I use the 5B is because your main, you know, center part of this line, the line that I'm drawing right now, it's okay if that's a bit of a different color shade than the outer. I purposely want the outer part of this line to look darker and to look different because if you look at a basketball up close, you'll actually see that um, this line isn't flat. It, there is actually a slight curve to it. Um, it's hard to explain right now, but the, the outer part, this, 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 and this is actually just a very hairline um, micrometer higher, maybe half a millimeter higher than where this line is. And as a result, this line actually um, has a curved uh, structure to it. So because it has a curved structure, you kind of basically have this, it looks when the light hits it, like there's this curved element to it. So um, my point is, it's actually okay that this line has ever so slightly a darker outer edge and a lighter inner edge. And that's that's what I'm getting at, and that's my point. So, follow along. Let's see if we can do this here. Okay, great, great, great. The other thing is as you get to this part, it should be thinner than over here. Over here should definitely be thicker, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm also gonna do this on the other side, and I'm ever so carefully going to just get this going. Now the trick is you want to keep the same width of this line in this area here as well as to about here. But from here on it can go thinner. Okay, so let's carefully do this. I'm going to stand up while I do this too because I want this attention to detail. And yeah, like I said, how are you doing? Um, I never played basketball. I wasn't a basketball player myself. Um, so I played baseball, which you might have seen in a past video I mentioned that. But uh, I never got into basketball. I played, you know, I maybe played like the, the free throw competition. But um, again, I never really got into it in a, in a competitive way. So I don't know, have you? Do you play basketball? Um, do you just draw basketballs? <laughs> Either way, that's fine. 
So you can kind of see how that's coming together right there. And, you know, I'm not gonna smudge it. I wanna keep the integrity of these lines as best I can. Over here, I just wanna maybe thicken up this portion right here. And I'll do so just ever so slightly. Just like that, okay. And again, as we go back, at this point and on, you want this to go thinner. So I'm purposely getting thinner there. I think maybe if I can erase that little hit right there, I can do that and go thinner like that, so. You know, it's not about perfection either. I mean, drawing is about practice. People say, how long have you been practicing your drawing? So it implies, you know, practice. I'm gonna speed the rest of this up. I'll be right back. We'll, uh, we'll finish off the lines over here and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. You can see I just finished and touched up some of the lines here. Um, pretty happy with how this is looking. And if you want, you can just retouch up your outer lines. Make sure that the outer part of the basketball is to your liking. One thing that I like to do is at this point, you look at your black lines, um, the thicker lines here, and you can basically start here and go bulge out. So from there you can bulge out. And from here you can bulge out as well. It's a very slight little thing, but on a real basketball, it does actually look like that. And you actually wanna show that in your drawing as well, okay? So same over, over here, you can just kind of, if you're not sure, just do that. Just draw a little scoop. If you want me to zoom into what I'm doing, I'm basically going like this. Over here, I'm basically going over, in, and around. So this part is the black part, the black line, okay? This is the outer part of the basketball. So that's all I'm really doing. I'm going out, out, and in, okay? That's what I'm doing in very, very fine in there, okay? Now the other thing that you wanna take note of is that you know, inside, inside um, a basketball, you're gonna have, usually there's like little specks, right? So how do we put on all those tiny little specks? Um, they're not always as visible. They're probably more visible in just this area. This is dark and this is light. So you might have a glare, you might have a regular, and you might have a dark spot. So in just this area, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit the page with the pencil. And I'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible, just like a real basketball. Um, I'm not gonna be perfect with it, but these little spots do exist on a basketball. I'm sure you know that. And we wanna basically put those on here as well. So you can just follow along. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's just speed this part up and I think it might help make the video flow a little longer. I'll be back once we kind of put some of the dots on. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I just put a few of the dots. I'm not gonna do the whole ball because there's gonna be shading down at the bottom, which I'm happy to put on right now, um, as well as some glare at the top. So just the specs will be visible there. Just a natural way to look at that. The other thing that you might wanna consider, doesn't have to be, but around this part of the basketball, um, you might have a darker line just over here, literally just on the side of this dark line. Now you don't want to use a 7B because you kind of use that to darken up that line. You might want to use something like a 5B and just ever so slightly get that line drawn and kind of ends over here. Um, this is due to the glare, um, the glare on the basketball. So not the glare, but just the shadows, right? So you might want to do that. Um, it, does, uh, it does play an effect a little bit on the other side, but very slightly, maybe just over here. Okay, um, other than that, that's kind of it. I would say at this point we can put on the shadows at the bottom. So 
All you really have to do is just get on um, some shadows just coming from the bottom and around. And of course, we're gonna have a natural light source probably over here, hitting over here. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom and quickly just get some strokes going up and around. And if you want, you can use your smudge technique to bring it up and around. Um, in doing so, you'll probably go over your line, uh, your, your circle. So if you do, we'll just use the um, eraser at the very end to clean this drawing up. So don't worry if it's not looking um, perfect by any means, okay? So my trick to kind of doing shading is just start at the bottom, you know, draw curved lines that go in the shape of the basketball, right? So just kind of like this. And then what we'll do um, is use our smudge technique, whatever smudge technique that you use to kind of bring out um, the lead and let that lead kind of move around on the page, right? So this is all I'm doing right now, just something like this. Right? And I'll do the same on this side. And you know, you can basically keep doing that. Um, you can also add darker tones as well. So you might say, um, I'll grab a darker pencil and just add some darker tones at the bottom, which works as well. You don't want too much light, um, um, lighter tones at the bottom. You really want to make sure that it is darker towards the bottom. It's, it's only natural that that color, uh, the tone is darker at the bottom because naturally that's what's happening, right? Is that darker tone should sit at the bottom, so. That's, that's basically what we're doing here. Um, let's see if I can just clean up some of the outer lines. Okay. So definitely want to do that. And if you know, notice that ridge kind of disappeared, you can get that ridge back. The ridge is helpful because in real life, you do have this kind of ridge that exists. And uh, just Google an image if you're not sure what I mean. But um, there's kind of this, this ridge-like piece that might sit over there. And the interesting thing is that that ridge also might exist right over here. So um, you can even put on that ridge just over here and you can hit it like this, so. Um, in theory, that ridge is all, all the way around. I mean, I didn't draw it all the way down at the bottom either, but I mean, it's starting to look a little better with it, so maybe we can get that ridge. So just getting that ridge just over here um, might actually look good. So that ridge is there, it's there, okay. Yes, I'm still using the 7B. Probably should have switched it to the five, but uh, I was kind of on a roll and just wanted to keep this going, so <laughs> just kept it in my hands. Um, you can hit the ridge with your with your smudge. You can kind of do that. So um, I would say that's a pretty good representation of a basketball. So hopefully you enjoyed that drawing. How did you do? Did you draw along as well? Um, did you know that the Boston Celtics have the most championships in the NBA, which is 17, um, including seven straight from 1960 to 1966? Pretty wild, pretty amazing stuff. And even such that Boston Celtics and in Massachusetts is where um, they invented the game of basketball. So it's kind of nice that that goes back. So um, yeah, just clean this up really quickly as well. Um, you know, a bit of a perfectionist too. Sometimes I keep going, 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 but I wanna make sure that we finish this off for your sake. So um, I'll just erase around the outer edges just to kind of remove any excess smudging that that occurred and uh, and then that'll bring us to the end of the drawing so whoop, one more spot over here all right so that's it that's how you draw a basketball so at this point i'll say thank you so much for watching and have a great day